Alright guys, these are two 155 amp hour AGM batteries. I bought these because they should be being installed at this point into the van that isn't here. I'll explain that later. There's some drama involved and some BS involved and I'll go through all that later. Uh, but I just want to let you know things are still going on. But God, none of my plans are working out, but we'll see how it works from this point forward. Hopefully things will start going my way. Hey, I thought I would show you some things that have arrived. I haven't opened them up yet. Been real busy. Uh, I showed this inverter a while back. I actually had to get another inverter. This is a clear sine wave inverter. Or clean sine wave inverter. Anyway, it's uh, expensive as all get out. <laughs> and as you can see, it is heavy. <laughs> so, I've got it sitting right up here in my storage area, where this, uh, it's also my clothes area, here where I, so I can move, get that out of the way, and, uh, and so, uh, that's, that's going to be part, uh, the van you haven't seen yet, there's a, a drama and a little bit of, uh, action around that, I will explain later, I just want to show you the things I've got arrived, that arrived, based on the fact the van was going to be here by now, it's not. I'll explain that later. Okay, guys, I'm looking at this pure sine wave inverter. I just received it uh, yesterday. Yesterday or the day before. Anyway, uh, I'm going to open it now. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it's, it's in a box, and I think I showed in the earlier video. It says heavy on the side, so I'm interested in this. Uh, this is going to be the... The... Uh, uh, 115, 110 volt uh, power base of my uh, solar system. Uh, in fact, I might be working on the solar system before I get the van in because of the disaster that happened with the van. I uh, still got to explain that, haven't I? Well, let me do that in another video. Let me just take a look at this first. Okay, here we go. This is a box power tech on uh, a Chinese import. And... Uh, Pop this out a little bit to see if I can get it out. Up without taking a month. Wow. <laughs> That's a big inverter. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have to be in the cabinet. <laughs> mm. And that's it's a lot of overkill for my system. It's probably gonna bite me in the butt. But it does also have some uh, some cables and what about that here? Power fault, power, uh, some kind of control switch. I'm going to learn all about this because I'm going to be doing all of this myself and by myself. Uh, I am not an expert, but I have a high level of frustration uh, tolerance. So I can, I can beat on something for two, three, four days or more and still not throw it out the window. So. This is the power inverter. 3,000 watts is a lot of, there's a considerable amount of overkill for my system, but it was reasonably expensive. Inexpensive. Well, <laughs> inexpensive in the grander scheme of things. Expensive as heck compared to uh, the uh, the non uh, pure sine wave inverters. I mean, hugely expensive compared to those. In any case, I'm going to give you a quick look at this just to let you know I'm still at this. And let me close this up a bit. Well, I'm just going to put this on top. I also bought a Gen 2 Noco. Ah. Uh, this is a an adapter uh, for a... Uh, it's actually... This is actually a charger. Because I'm using AGM batteries, which are not by any way your standard battery, I got an intelligent charger that can determine what type of battery I've got and hopefully allow me to uh, to charge it successfully. I've got another one of these that is for conventional, I don't know, wet cell or standard car batteries. This will allow me to uh, charge the couple of batteries I've got. Uh, with uh, combined 310 amp hours 
And I've got this, which will allow me to put either on the side of a wooden box or out the side of my van, which is unlikely. Allow me to charge it, uh, you know, get an external power source without taking things apart to charge it. So, that's all this. I did buy this. This is basically a, oh, this is a fast charging uh, uh, portable uh, external battery. Uh, I've got a, uh, you know, it works for Apple and it also works for Samsung. And I've got one of the Samsungs. And uh, and when I need to charge it, and I'm not around any type of uh, uh, lighter type interface or, or regular wall interface, I thought I'd get something I could charge and keep it handy. That's basically because I'm a phonaholic. All right, that's basically what I've got. I want to show you what I've got and what I'm doing. Show you I'm not quitting, but, you know, to explain the hiccup, and I'll do that in a later video.